everyone in the world is born with a sort of maternal innocence. Happiness, balance, and health manifest itself into different forms, but not necessarily something you see on a string. Sometimes, these things deteriorate. It could be due to the influence of other people, stress, and the thoughts and images construed by our own mind. As children, we didn't always view sadness as something terminal. It was just a fleeting moment. Yet depression, eating disorders, bullying, and psychosis do exist. Sadness can start out small, but can metastasize and hinder our ability to enjoy life. People forget that forgetting to eat is when confidence has truly flatlined. Bullies and victims share the trait of vulnerability, but victims endure the strain of both. Some people become so lost that they have become detached from reality. Kids with mental illness live in shadows, masking emotions while hiding themselves away. The first step on the road to recovery is convincing these people that getting better is possible. Happiness may come and go, but friends and family don't. Happiness can be shared, balance can be reached, and the feeling of fullness cannot be achieved if you've never felt empty. The key to stomping out stigma, saying goodbye to sadness, and starting over is recognizing that these are sicknesses that can be treated. Life has its ups and downs. It is not how hard we fall that defines us, but instead, our ability to get back up.